guys, it's Living Young Country Girl, and I am doing a review on the Anaheim Hilton in Anaheim, California. Um, we're checking out this hotel for our stay at Disneyland, and so far, first impressions is it's a beautiful hotel as far as like the lobby and everything. The people are very I love friendly. The Christmas trees. They have a lot of Christmas trees right now, which is really pretty. Gorgeous. And do you want to say hi? Hi. The <laughs> beds are really soft. The beds are really soft. But they don't have really, really warm blankets. Ah. So, um, it's a huge hotel though, and it's a little further from Disneyland than I originally thought. They're telling us it's about a 25 minute walk, which is gonna be kind of a long walk when you're talking at the end of the day. Um, but you know, it depends. They might be also considering a slow walker. I really don't know. Um, so that was one thing. And the other thing that we learned was they put a $50 a night. in a pirate cove. There is a pirate cove. Um, a $50 a night incidental fee up to six nights. So for us, because we're here six nights, that's a $300 extra fee that they're putting on our card. Um, and because we're using a debit card, it like holds those funds. So that's kind of like a, oh, bummer. Like wish I would have known. It is in their policies. I just didn't bother reading them. Um, and generally speaking, it's usually like $100 or something, so it's not a big deal. So that was kind of a little bit of a, oh, okay, well, that just cut $300 off of our planned money that we were going to spend. So um, that's something to keep in mind. You also have an additional $16 a day for parking, which we got a really good rate on this. We were paying $92 a night. So even with the $16 parking, it was still a really good rate for a hotel you know, by Disneyland. So I'm um, not too worried about that. Like I said, staff has been wonderful, but it is a huge hotel. So like even once you get into the hotel, it could take you another five to 10 minutes probably to get to your room because it's huge. So, all right, let me flip the camera though so you can actually see the room now. <laughs> okay, so um, when you walk in, you have right off the left, you have like a sliding bathroom door, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of like that barn. Oh, I need to show them the bathroom, kid. Um, and let's see. Uh, small, it's fairly small, it's not that big. I definitely think the hotel at the, where was it, the Howard Johnson that we stayed in with the double sinks was really nice. Um, a lot bigger. Still probably my favorite hotel we stayed at. I don't think it's broken. So that's what, that's what it is for the bathroom. I do like when the sink area is separate because then in the morning it gives a little more um, of an area to get ready, but it is what it is. There is a mirror outside to use too, which is nice, like a full length mirror, which is on that slide door. Um, as far as the room goes, it's not very large. It'll work for, you know, a family of four with little ones <laughs> and for sleeping. That's pretty much all we do in our room. Um, it has a chair here where hubby is relaxing. <laughs> and you have a little Cuisinart coffee maker, which is nice, as well as um, a refrigerator. There are no microwaves, which is a bummer, of course. Um, then you have a nice desk area, which is great. And, and then you have this little extra area over here where we will probably end up putting our, um, whatchamacallit, our bed uh blow up beds so um i do have to say like that to me is pretty disgusting in the corner i'm not gonna lie that's a little bit gross um but we do have the nice uh we actually have a walkout patio and if you can see i don't have the door open there's actually a pirate cove like dumping bucket and stuff so if you were here during the summer this would be a great room because you could just come back to your room super quick and easy um it pretty as you can tell rainy and cloudy today so I'm not sure how much time we're gonna get out there although the pool is heated so um, it's nice and bright with this able you know ability to walk in but definitely I have to say um, probably not our favorite hotel as of now so the parking situation is kind of complicated <laughs> kids are in fun with the chairs um, Okay, so like I was saying, the parking situation is a little bit complicated in the elevators. You park in one garage, you take elevators to the lobby, then you switch elevators to get to your room. So in that sense, it can be a little bit more complicated, especially if you're parking. I guess if you're coming in on a shuttle or something, it's not such a big deal. But like for us, bringing all of our stuff in, which we bring a bunch of stuff, as you guys have seen in the past, it makes it a little more difficult. So um, those are kind of so far what I've noticed. Um, definitely... Definitely not feeling the cleanliness. Like for a Hilton, this is not what I would have expected. So kind of bummed about that. But um, I'll probably take some pictures and forward them on to the manager and just say, hey, guys, <laughs> not what I expected. So 
anyways, that's so far the review for the Hilton. Um, I will, of course, add any extra tips or things that we learn as our stay continues. So thanks for watching. Bye.